solve the system of equations. And here we have three variables, three equations. We want to find A, B, and C. And I will use elimination to solve the system. Okay, so I'm just going to number all the equations right away. So one, two, and three. And I'm just going to get started with equations one and two. And the variable that's going to be easiest to eliminate will be C, it looks like. So I'm just going to multiply equation one by three. So of course I need to multiply everything by three. A times three, this is a parenthesis by the way. So A times three, three A. Negative, or sorry, minus two B times three, minus six B. Minus C times three, minus three C. And five times three, 15. Great, so now I'll just bring down equation number two, right below. And why did I multiply top equation by three? Well, because now I have minus 3c and minus 3c. So all I need to do is subtract the equations, and the 3c's are going to disappear. They're gone. Because minus 3c, right, minus negative 3c, minus negative make a plus, and um, minus 3c plus 3c will be 0. Okay, so 3a minus 5a, negative 2a, minus 6b minus 2b would be negative 8b, so minus 8b. And over here we have 15 minus 11, so just 4. Great. So now I'm just going to leave this equation here. Negative 2a minus 8b equals 4. I'll call it equation number 4, actually, and leave it here for now. And why is that? Just because now I want to combine equations 1 and 3, eliminate C, and come up with the fifth equation that will only have A and B, just like 4. Just like equation number 4. So, okay, equation 1. Again, but no longer multiplied by 3. I have just A minus 2B minus C equals 5. And equation 3. We have 3a minus 5b plus c equals negative 13. Okay, so now I can just add these equations because negative c plus c will be 0. So if those cancel out, that's a great thing. Negative c plus c is 0. a plus 3a is 4a. By the way, you can always determine what you need to do if you need to add or subtract, right? So in this case, I chose to add because we have we had a minus c plus c so by adding we would cancel these out then negative 2b plus minus 5b is negative 7b 5 plus negative 13 would be negative 8 because that's equivalent to 5 minus 13 great so we have 4a minus 7b equals negative 8 that's equation number 5 Okay, now we can we can pair these off. We can combine equation number four and five to figure out a and b. But before we do that, there's something about equation number four that I like. All these numbers are even, so I can just divide everything by two. In fact, I'll do it. I'll divide it by negative two, just because negative two a over negative two is a. Negative eight b divided by negative two plus 4b, right? It's positive since negative negative make it positive. And 4 over negative 2 is just negative 2. Okay, so that's equation number 4. It'll just place below equation number 5 now. Okay, but we don't have the coefficients lining up. We don't, right? So I just want to change either equation just so that the coefficients do line up so we can eliminate either A or B. I'm going to choose to multiply this equation by 4 and I'll distribute the 4. So 4 times A, 4A, 4 times 4B, 16B, and 4 times negative 2, 
negative eight. And I'm just bringing equation, so this is still number four. Equation number five, I'm just going to bring down right below it. Sorry if this looks a little bit confusing in this case. So this is equation number five again. There we go. Now we can finally subtract these. And why is that? Because 4a minus 4a will be zero. Now 16b minus negative 7b is 23b. And negative 8 minus negative 8 will be zero. Because minus a negative number makes a plus. So negative 8 plus 8, zero. Then it can divide both sides by 23. 0 divided by 23 is 0. So we have one of the variables already. There we go. OK, now to find A, that would be simple. I can just take equations, either equation 4 or 5, plug 0 in for B, and solve for A. So I'll pick equation 4 because it looks easier. Right, right here. So our b goes right here. a plus 4 times 0 is negative 2. So a plus 0 is equal to negative 2, so a is just negative 2. Fantastic. Now we have a and b. Now we just need to find out what c is. So I'm going to take equation number 1 again and plug in negative 2 for a and 0 for b. Okay, so we have negative 2 minus negative 2 times 0 minus c equals 5. Because that's just uh, equation 1, right? So just plug it in the negative 2 for a, 0 for b, and now we can solve for c. So we have negative 2 minus 2 times 0 is just 0, and we have minus c equals 5. Continue over here. Now I can add 2 to both sides of the equation. Add a 2 over here, add a 2 over there. And negative c, sorry, uh, the minus c here will be equal to 5 plus 2, 7. Then I can divide both sides by negative 1, just because we have negative c, right? So I, I want a positive c. So we have c equals 7 divided by negative 1, negative 7. And that is our third variable. So I will just write the answer as negative 2, 0, and negative 7. So we have the A, the B, and the C, and that's it. That is our answer. Voila. We're done.